All right, beer lovers, it's time for some beer facts. Welcome to the beer facts segment where we chat about fun facts about beer. This is Sips of Wisdom. Sips of Wisdom. I was excited to get into the Sips of, wi- Sips of Wisdom to share with you. <laughs> it's my favorite part. As you probably know, I do love some fun facts um, and uh, some good conversation pieces. It allows anybody to be able to talk about stuff. That's right. But I love having giving some extra fun little information out to our bartenders to take to work and talk with their peeps about. So Lizzie, you're gonna get us started though because you put a lot more words that I can't pronounce in here. <laughs> and you were much you nicer total, this total week. Total failure. I took it upon myself you did. to read this one. So we'll see how I do. Sure thing. This one is actually really fun to say out loud. I practiced three times in the mirror this morning. <laughs> did you do a circle? No. Oh. Yeah, I, I talked in a circle. No, 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 just said it and like I was going with the like mm. with the, the Bloody Mary or whatever. You no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't want to see. You didn't summon the devil. Had, I didn't want to see what this whale had to offer. Oh, so <laughs> that's true. The Icelandic brewery Stigi, uh, Stigi created a unique beer called Veller Two, which uh, is basically whale in Icelandic terms. Veller. Yeah, Veller, uh, I think. That's how I heard it when Google said this is how you say this. Um, So it includes an unusual ingredient, which is smoked whale testicles. Mm. And that's why I didn't want to see it in the mirror. (laughs) Uh, So this this beer was first brewed in 2015 and made using testicles from the fin whale, which is smoked in sheep's dung. Mm, it just gets better the more you describe it. I know it, right? The, I would still put it on a plate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta try it. Gotta would try, try. It. The distinctive smoking method is part of an old Icelandic tradition, okay. given the scarcity of trees mm. in Iceland. Uh, each testicle used in the brewing process weighs between 15 and 18 pounds. It's insane. Veller 2 is brewed an- annually for the Thori Festival, which is a traditional Icelandic event uh, held in January and February. It's happening right now. The beer has sparked controversy oh, no. and criticism from anti-whaling campaigners. Mm, makes sense. Yep, yep I get yep. it. Uh, obviously, they view it as inappropriate um, use of whale parts and a disrespectful marketing tool. Mm. 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 But despite these criticisms... What else are they getting used for? Yeah, right, well... Probably oil, or that's just the fat. I don't know what you would use the testicles. Maybe you can make a sandwich out of them. So they're not called Rocky Mountain mountain oysters? Not those kind of sandwiches. Not those kind of sandwiches. That's how we ate them, is on the cow's little little dollar buns. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about we. I oh, not not her. I, I was like, I, I have not. Uh, Better with I feel mustard. like I've tried them, but I don't. I don't. I don't remember. Not super my thing anymore. Uh, Wine Coop has a Rocky Mountain oyster beer, a mm. stout. Do they? Yeah. Well, there you go. I They're have probably had that. inspired from Veller. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Um, anyway. Whales. Um, despite these cri- the criticisms from the anti-whaling, uh, the, the brewery defends its practice by citing Icelandic traditions and culinary history. Yeah. I do agree with that. I, I mean, too. why not? Which includes using every part of an animal yep. and consuming foods like fermented shark and sour whale fat during the Thori Fest. Yep. So, absolutely. Um, one of my favorite things uh, about growing up with a family that is big into hunting is they use every part yeah. of the animal, right? Like, mm. I mean, it, it's not wasteful, it's not for trophy, it's absolutely, they're eating off their land yeah. and- Doesn't mean what else they use It's a wonderful, for. beautiful thing. Beautiful, Ex- exactly, yeah. right? Like, get after it. Yeah. Put it yeah. in a sandwich I mean, call I, it a day. I mean, I get if the general criticism is like, don't hunt whales, then yeah, I can understand where it doesn't really matter what part of the whale that you're using, yes. but- I mean, I, I definitely side more on like the history tradition and do it uh, sustainably. Right? Like, it doesn't have to be, like... Don't kill. over-farm the yeah, land. Don't, don't, don't over-hunt the whales. Exactly. Do it sustainably. And yeah. then, I, then I think it's... Like then it. I'm more okay with it. Yeah. And that's coming for someone to eat meat. And then yeah. I'm still more okay with it. Yeah, well, yeah. you had a good round mind about you. In this egghead? Yeah! I didn't say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> they aren't whales, but they are kind of whales when you think about, like... 
the goats, I don't know, I'm trying to put the casino references in there. The whales were like the big players that they came in. They spent a lot of money. Spent a lot of money. They're like the goats of the casino, right? Like, I don't know about greatest of all time, but they had deep pockets. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, that's a terrible segue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Speaking of Arctic chill. Yeah, speaking of ice. the Arctic chill of speaking how bad of that joke was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the Chiefs and Dolphins game? I watched it until I was sick of watching it. Oh, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, <laughs> I did I did watch it. Yeah, you're right. It was kind of a blow up, but it was fun. It was chilly. It looked very cold. My favorite part is when uh, Homie cracked his helmet ah, on other guys' yeah, helmet. helmet. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah. But what happened during that game that became kind of viral and was all over, you know, all of the social medias was people doing, we're going to call it, I don't have an empty glass, like the Dairy Queen, like upside Challenge. down dip, but with uh, with their beers because they froze at the game. Yeah. Or there was like exploded cans of like McAltra or whatever beer they were drinking because it was so cold they made all the beer freeze, which everyone's like, well, yeah, of course it freezes. But do you know at what temperature beer freezes? I didn't. I did not either until I looked it up, and it freezes at 28 degrees for beers in the, what was it, 3 to 6? 4 to 6. 4 ABV. to 6 ABV. They actually freeze 4 degrees colder than water. So, as we all knew, it was much colder than 28 degrees, but now you have it. That is when your beer will freeze as long as it is in that alcohol range. <laughs> pa! And... The Chiefs are not the whales of the NFL. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they Bring were. They were. I mean, they did. They're go. like the more recent whale of the NFL. That's true. They've won a lot. They, yeah, they got a couple of rings. No, yeah. big, no big deal. Yeah. All right. We're going to go uh, further uh -huh. away from Kansas because it's our neighbor. Uh, we're going to go all the way over to Japan. This doesn't look like Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Remember that one time we did end up in Kansas and I was like, why are we in Kansas? That's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. It was raining and it was dark and yeah. we got lost. Yeah. But all right, we're going to go over to Japan. This is more of a thoughtful, fun <laughs> fact. And it, it really is about uh, bringing in that inclusivity. Uh, yeah. So in Japan, beer cans can feature Braille markings. Yeah. Um, this is a help. Top. Yep. Yep, 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 on the top. It's to help visually impaired individuals distinguish uh, non-alcoholic beverages from alcoholic yep. beverages. Um, what it does is it uh, highlights Japan's commitment to accessibility and inclusivity, ensuring that uh, in visually impaired people can independently identify and choose their preferred yep. drink, right? And it's, it's a great example of how small design changes can make everyday products more accessible and user-friendly for everybody in yep. the community. The, and we have talked about, I mean, I, an easy low-hanging fruit is just like talking about women in a very male-dominated field, but it doesn't just have to be women. There is a whole laundry list of minority groups that don't feel overly yeah. welcomed in the craft beer space. Yeah. Uh, and this is a great example beer of the beer space. Yeah, that's probably a better way to put it, just beer space. And so like, this is a great example case of it's, this isn't a big lift, right? Like they do it and now like this whole group of people feels more inclusive. Like if there was a brewery around that had braille on their menu and on their merch and for someone that was sight impaired could actually function around their brewery outside of autonomy required on your bathroom doors yeah. you know what brewery they're probably going to go to that one i know not a lot of sign language but i did take a couple semesters i know that one <laughs> and so like I've had breweries that I've worked at that we actually started having a decent group of hearing impaired people yeah, because sorry. they could actually order. I thought that was so cool. Yeah. That you would do that with people. And I do like just a, like a tiny just bit, a but it was bit. so cool that like, and they would bring in their friends and it really just kind of grew. And I've run into some of them outside of, uh, you know, we're not working at the places anymore and they straight up just don't go anymore because it doesn't feel that way. So I mean, it doesn't have to be women. There is a whole laundry list of minority groups you can start appealing to. And it's incredible how small little things like that can make people feel welcome. It's and if you really things. you want to make people feel welcome, there's a lot of things you can do to, to set yourself uh, set yourself apart. That's right. Oh, so. Open your heart and your doors. Oh, look at that. Lovely. To, you know, a wide range of us. Of people. People, people out there. Yeah. Um, 